Namaskaram to all. What a great day for all of us. Bharat has achieved and brought back the glory of Sri Rama across the nation wide. On this auspicious day, let us all think about Lord Rama and his Nama Mahima. Once, Valmi is said in his Ramayana, Ramo Vikrahaban Dharmaha. Rama was acclaimed as personification of Dharma. He protected the Yajna being performed by Vishwamitra and killed Tadaga, an aggressive lady. Rama performed Aswamedha as a token of sacrifice to invigorate Dharma. Rama is tender-hearted, virtuous incarnate, pious and of unfailing prowess. He is the ruler of the entire humanity. Once, the Alexander the Great, after his successful victory in battles with the kings and rulers, was asked at the time of his departure from India to offer his opinion about India. He said, one is Rama ka Kahani and the other was Ganga ki Pani. The famous sage Kabir says, give up the reading of the scriptures, float them down the river. No need to learn all filthy two letters only which is Ra and Ma, Rama will do forever. A few quotations derived from scriptures, different Puranas, Upanishads and Vedic literatures will no doubt give comprehensive idea as to the dynamic power hidden in Ramanama and its efficacious result on staunch devotees in transforming human body into divinity. In Srimad Ramayana, Sri Rama exhibits various dharmas at different places. Saint Tulasida said, Be aware in this age of Kali. The mind is filthy. There is no other way for rescue if we give up the uttering of the name of Rama. Late Palahari Baba, to whomsoever he met, used to preach to take initiation of Rama, Rama Nama, for salvation, which is the ultimate goal of human life. Rama Nabaiba, 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 Namajivanam. Skanda Puranam, Uttarakanda, Rama Nabaiba, Nabaiba, Ramo, Nabaiba Kevalam. Kala, Nataiba, Nastiba, Nastiba, Gadiranyata. So, the slogan is taken from Adi Ramayana. Ramanama is a is like a piece of turmeric. If the turmeric is rubbed, it would exhibit its color. But if it is not rubbed, it would remain as it is. In this matter, in this manner, the saints by taking recourse to Ramanama with frequent recitation, recitation they get nectar. The pranava or omkar has been originated from the Rama name. It is also a form of tattvamasi, which means thou or that. This is also, according to the great scholars, taken from Adi Ramayana. 
द रा अन मा इन द नेम रामा आर कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी टू ईच अदर द लेटर रा रिलेट्स टू सेरिब्रल एंड अपियर्स टू बी अ त्रिकुति एस इन बिटवीन द आईब्रोस द लेटर मा relates to two lips where from it is uttered thus it is prevailing everywhere in the iron age there is increase of sin everywhere you will see only immoral act degenerated people all through in this age of trial and tribulation one has to resort to the best of his ability to guide posts two gate posts one ramanama and the second is sacred water of ganga ramanama is superior to brahma there was neither in the past nor would be in the future a name equal to rama hence by regular recitation one is liberated from the bondage of the world the name rama is a seed of a mantra to be consent rated upon when it is enlivened in the core of the heart there is neither fear for poison nor for fire of delusion nor for the mouth of death the lord says the saints and vagarishis resorted to recite my multitude of names they occur in all vedas rig ajur adarvana and sama puranas upanishads astrology sankhya yoga shastra and ayurveda and all such names keep relation with my attributes or act but out of all mantra tatvas my rama nama holds the supreme position godliness the supreme tulasi das says blessed is the son and blessed are his parents who remembers sri rama in whatsoever way it may be he utters the name of rama even by mistake let him pair a pair of shoes made of the skin of my body blessed is the pariya who is a devotee of god and remembers him day and night of what avails high path to one who that is the name of the highest mountain peak gives shelter only to snakes blessed are the sugar cane the corn or betel leaves that flourish in low land and give delight to all let us all repeat with one voice glory to the divine name rama the glory of ram nama is intimate its effect unfailing even the sacred name taken with such an ulterior motivate does not go in vain it fulfills the object which the sadaka has in view and in the long run all make him unable to attain devotion to god as indicated in shastras the examples of durva sugriva vipishana who got sovereignty and love of god that is why the shastras give unstinted praise to those who practice the name with any motive whatsoever it is easy to study the scriptures and it is easier till to summarize but it is not easy to practice the name with absolute faith and fullest confidence Goswami Tulasi Das says 
though repeated births to ascetics practice austerities yet they find themselves unable to letter the name of rama even during the last moments of their life let us cite me incidents occurred during the short life span of gandhi ji who had practical experience by taking recourse to rama nama with absolute faith and fullest confidence in every walks of his life in politics and by giving treatment to the patients through neuropathy gandhi ji said in his book nature cure it is the duty of a nature of doctor not only to look after the body but also pay attention for the soul of a patient this best prescription for the soul is of course rama nama it was said of latha maharaj of belashore that he cured himself of his leprosy not by any medicine but by applying to the affected parts bilva which has been caused after being offered to the image of mahadeva in bileshwar temple and by regular repetition of rama nama his faith it was said had made him whole and his body was entirely free from leprosy after he began reading ramayan further gandhi ji asserted in virubi kanchan that the surest remedy for all over this was rama nama he further declared that he who can make full use of rama nama can show powerful result with every little outside efforts nature also indicates as stated by him that for man rama nama is the worthy remedy no matter what ailment from which a man may be suffering recitation of rama nama from the heart born of faith but without parrot like is a sure care parrot like repetition of god's name signified a failure to recognize him as the panacea for all ills the recitation of rama nama as a remedy for spiritual ailments is as gold as the hills gandhi ji further said m climbs that the recitation of rama nama is a sovereign remedy for our physical ailments too rama nama can be used only for a good never for an evil end or else thieves and robbers would be the greatest devotees i have no doubt whatever spread of rama nama and pure living or the best and cheapest preventive of disease we want a healer of souls rather than of bodies all i want to say that anything more than rama nama is really contrary to true nature cure the efficacy of rama nama would depend on whether it was or was needed by living faith these are all the words by mahatma gandhi if you are subject to anger eat and sleep for indulgence not solely for substance you do not know the measuring of rama nama you are recitation of its mere lip service rama nama to be officious must absorb your entire being during its recitation and be expressed itself in your whole life there is no greater binder peace than the name of god ramana 
Nature cure consists of two parts. Firstly, to cure disease by uttering Rama Nama and secondly, to prevent illness by the inculcation of right and hygienic living. Rama Nama, which is center of nature cure, is the enemy of superstition. It is conscious belief in God and the knowledge of us law that make perfect cure possible without any further further aid the law is that a perfect mind is responsible for perfect health of the body the temple of god a devotee of rama may be said to be the same as the steadfast one in simple word yet a powerful world sita prajna of the gita a friend of gandhi ji versed in religious lore who read gandhi ji's remarks on rama nama some time ago wrote to say that rama nama is an alchemy which can transform the body recitation of rama nama is also a means of assuring purity in the case of a man who repeats rama nama from the heart discipline and self control will come to him therefore as gandhi ji says that a man should preserve and ceaselessly repeat rama nama during all his waking hours ultimately it would remain with their even during their sleep God's grace would fill them with perfect health of body, mind and spirit. Gandhi ji further says that more I think the more I realize that Rama Nama recited from the heart and with the knowledge it is a cure all for every kind of disease. Nature cure does not relate to body only but also the mind. Rama Nama is the only help in keeping up mental health and person desiring to avail himself of it should be pure full of faith and devoted nature cure without rama nama has absolutely no value for me gandhi ji further said the articles of vinoba ji are excellent but for one who is convinced of the great of celibacy the greatest support of rama nama since once the greatness is acknowledged it ceases to be a subject of the mind and becomes the matter of the heart which is controlled by god rama has been portrayed as one possessing both the characteristic of human pursuits idealism and realization millions have treasured in this heart since ages past by reciting the blessed name of rama nama it is the supreme purifier of the mind of man and bestowed of perennial joy and peace and also the key to liberation of a man from the unceasing circle of birth and deaths by chanting rama nama a significant change takes place in the entire organism of the person chanting it the two letters rama nama is the best of all mantras since it is a combination of the two important mantras panchakshar and ashtakshar ra is taken from om namo narayanaya and ma from the om namah shivaya in ram ragasya banasat it is explained when these letters are removed from these two mantras they not only lose their primary meaning but give the opposite meaning therefore 
it is an admitted fact that rama mantra is very powerful so repetition of rama mantra brings about deep concentration there are several instances about reciting the scientific name of rama by uttering the name of rama in its opposite form in north india famously call it ultha nama by saying mara mara instead of rama rama the great plunderer by saying mara mara the great plunderer come decoit converted into a great sage called magarshi valmiki the writer of ramayana when such is the effect of ultha nama who can speak of the glory of the right and proper name the well known poet goswami tulsidas says that whether you remember rama in pleasant or unpleasant mood it is sure to give a good effect just as the seeds in the field are thrown either rightly or wrongly give good results i am giving you a name worshiped since the beginning of time by the people of this land a name familiar to the very animate birds that very stones of hindustan through many thousands of years you all know the story of ahalya being converted to a stone in the roadside being cursed of her husband sprang again to life at the simple touch of rama's foot as he passed by you must learn to repeat the blessed name of rama with sweetness and such devotion the birds and the beasts will pause for a moment to listen to you then very trees will bend their leaves towards you stirred by the divine melody of rama nama in his sweet name lies a power which can cure all our ills in ramayana it is mentioned that unique power of rama nama properly understood it is the same as omkara the symbol of the absolute brahma and rama to the true devotee is not merely son of dasarat but the absolute itself sri rama is all pervading he is in the heart of all beings as the inner controller then imagine the power and glory his name possess the saint tulasidas said in his ramayana the name is even superior to the lord because the nirguna the saguna aspects of brahma are tasted and realized by the power of the name rama liberated a single woman ahalya but his name has purified crores of wicked women rama gave salvation to two of his faithful servants jatayu and sabari but his name has been the savior of countless wicked person the saint tulsidas had darshan of rama by repeating rama nama samartha ramadas performed his penance in talke village on the banks of godavari and chanted ramanantra about 13 crores in number so by chanting ramanama 13 crores of times and eventually had darshan of sri rama ramadas of batrachalam had darshan of rama by constantly repeating the 
ராம மந்திரா அந்த ஹோலி பேங்க்ஸ் ஆஃப் கோதாவரி சச் இஸ் த பவர் ஆஃப் ராம மந்திரா வென் ஒன் அட்ஹியர்ஸ் டு ராமநாமா வித் எக்ஸ்க்ளூசிவ் அண்ட் ஜென்யூன் டிவோஷன் ஹி பிகம்ஸ் ஃபார் ஒன் த டெஸ்ட்ராயர் ஆஃப் ஆல் பெயின்ஸ் ஒன்ஸ் ஃபெய்த் மஸ்ட் நாட் பி டிவைடட் பிட்வீன் டூ ஆர் மோர் மந்த்ராஸ் ஒன் ஷுட் ஸ்டிக் டு ராமநாமா வித் ஃபுல் கான்ஃபிடென்ஸ் அண்ட் இட் லாஸ்ட் பட் நாட் அ லீஸ்ட் ராமநாமா ஷுட் நாட் பி யூஸ்ட் ஃபார் த ஷேக் ஆஃப் அப்டைனிங் வேர்ல்டி ends but it should be properly used for moksha as being used by bahavan kasi vishwanath for the salvation of souls or the dead bodies as expounded in shiva purana it was through the power of the name that god was compelled to manifest himself out of a solid pillar and gave darshan to prahlad it was the power of name that transformed that that transformed a cup of poison into a cup of nectar in the case of mirabai and it was the power of the name which made narada vyas shukadev valmiki and tulasidas and others adorable in the eyes of others it was a name which made even stones float on water while the monkeys were constructing a bridge on the unfathomable ocean to go to lanka the kingdom of ravana it was the power of the name that hanuman was able to cross the ocean with in one lap in evidence of such glaring instances how can the glory of the name be described in full it is a name which gives us an idea of god goshwami tulsidas beautifully expressed this idea in the manas form is always found to be subordinate to the name a person may hold a diamond in his hand but he cannot discover its identity unless and until he is told that it is a diamond and without knowing what it is he cannot form any idea of its value he is appraised of its value only when he learns from a jeweler that it is a diamond so it is clear that we cannot identify an object without knowing its name the sadaha finding the joy of repeating the ramanama all other enjoyments on the world are insipid he then climbs in joy i have discovered the wish yielding gem of ramanama i shall never remove it from my heart kapir says practice japa of the name through every breath except this there is no other way name of rama is hidden treasure and priceless commodity everyone does neither recognize it nor its value is known to all so long as you do not know a thing its true value will remain hidden from you even though the thing may be in your possession for a long time the practice of ramanama not only fulfills our desires but also vouch saves to us the additional boon of devotion of god purifying our hearts at the first instance jai sita ram